Hi, this is Richard Byrne. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Flippity Mad Libs template, which is a great free template for creating your own Mad Libs stories that your students can complete online. I've written about this in the last week and I've had a bunch of questions about how it actually works. So let's take a look. First of all, we're at flippity.net and we're going to use the demo just to see how it works. This is what your students would see. Now they could go in here, they could select any one of these stories, we'll say the trip, and they can fill this in. And they go through and fill all those pieces in. All right, once the students have filled in all the information, they say, see my story, and here's the story. And the things that they filled in, the variables they inputted, will be bolded for them. Now, let's go back and see how you can create this yourself. So, select the template, and you'll make a copy in your Google Drive. And now you can go in and change any of these variables. Now, the trick is, if you want to change it from the trip to, let's say, the walk home. That's the new title. And now, anything in the brackets are the variables that will appear in the story. So we can say, swap this out, put in a noun instead of a name. Or you could say proper noun. And then we can change any part of the story. And obviously it would take a while to fill in all the information and change it, but you can see you do get lots of variables that you can modify for your students. Now when you're done, you'll want to go up and publish this spreadsheet. Let's go to File, Publish to the Web, then grab this link here. So you want to copy and paste that one. You need to copy that. Then down at the bottom of your spreadsheet, you'll have a new tab that says Get Link Here. Click on that. Put your link from the spread, published spreadsheet in line 3. Hit Enter. And then you have a link that you can direct your students to to complete a Mad Libs activity. You can see there's the walk home. I didn't change any of the other five stories yet. There's the walk home. And if I want to get students to this page, simply give them that link. Now, obviously, that's a long link, and a lot of students have trouble copying that down correctly. So you might use a URL shortener like bit.ly.com or a QR code tool like QR Droid to create a QR code so your students can access this on their mobile devices. So that's how you can create your own Mad Libs style stories using a Google spreadsheet and the template available from flippity.net. For more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com.